Hey YouTube, Optimus Beast here coming with you a brand new series I've had in mind for a while called Mind of a Search Player for those who aren't familiar with the strategies of Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy refers to a military strategy that became notorious from the Vietnam War where uh, there's a, a mission which you have to do defend a bomb or plant an objective. Search uh, first came to the Call of Duty series around Call of Duty 4 for those who you have, are new to Call of Duty. So it's been around for a while. So I've decided since I'm kind of good at search to help those who aren't very good at search. Alright, first off, in search, on the defensive side, you kind of want to play back and defend two bombs. As a team, you want to go two and two each bomb, but not too close. So you like to have one closer to the bomb and close and the other person closer to like the area somewhat mid, being to have a protection for help you to bomb. Now, on offense, the objective will most likely be to hurry up and attack one bomb and push together as a team. But you do not want to push too, too close together. You kind of want to make like a triangle shape where each person has their own job or own space to prove to prove themselves. In this film, that we were playing a GB against some actually some S and D stars. Like they were a real good S and D team. This is my old team, underrated. We are no longer together. If you check out the first video. So I decided to bring this back. I took a break from competitive when I went to college and I just came back. So I decided why not start with this. You see I get taken out here. I'm trying to defuse the bomb where I kind of took too long focusing on the guy who was blending in. Which was kind of smart by him but then kind of stupid for him to use a sniper class. But hey it worked to their advantage I didn't get the bomb planted. So anyway I'm probably going to go up here to top A. On C Town, you most likely want to rush the A bomb because it's closer, and it's if you get control of it, it's kind of hard to defuse it. Now, most people will just run in there like you have no sense, but I tend to play a little slow because I know there's always going to be one rug. There's always going to be one rug area or something. So you want to come in, check your corners. Do not sprint. I get the kill, take him out, and then I get a little happy, so I start to run, which you do not want to run a lot in search, because most times you will get caught sprinting and die. Uh, now, as here, you always want to check your corners, because now your opponents know where you're at, so somebody is going to be transferring over to you. Now, in this situation, most people think, what would you do? Well, we have bombed down to alive, so I'm just going to chill back. I see him. I go dick on him. As of right now, it's a 1v, 1v3 that we should win this no matter what. I see him step up. I take that shot. The bad shot was kind of uh, not too good because he could have just ducked behind the cover. But I knew I had two other partners I trust. So, hey, why not? Now, in this next round, we'll be back on defense. Take notes to where each of my teammates go to in their individual spots. You do not want to waste your stuns and nades at the beginning of the maps because there really isn't that nade spots in these gigantic maps. Unlike Block Ops, there was always some type of spot where you can nade or an opponent or and, and most likely get a kill. In Warner for 3, you do not have that luxury. It's more of a big map and spread out type of scenario. Now this... Is just me camping, waiting for the opponent to push up. Since we're on the defensive side, there's no, there's no need to rush my opponent when they're, when we are defending, because they have to come to us. We do not have to come to them. Let's see, when we trade kills, go and get a good two piece. I almost had the three piece, but it's okay. I think I pick him up here actually. I kind of can't remember. Now this is an old gameplay. That's what I said. That's probably most likely from 2011. Cause we have broke up at the beginning of the you know, at the beginning of this year when I transferred to college. I attended the University of Akron in Ohio Division One school, but now I'm on break till August. So I decided to come back in the gaming scene. Uh, I'm on PlayStation for those who know. So I'm not an Xbox player as of right now. So anyway, it's a one v two situation. The yeah, X Waluigi is less laugh. Uh, the best push would be was just trying to. Uh, Trap him. My partner calls him out right here, so I hurry up and rush and kill him. I remember this part right here. I take his kill, two shots. That's good teamwork. Just play, just play slow. Try to trap him. Don't, don't, don't spread too far apart. You don't, unless you know that you are a clutch player. Now, 
The, now the series man of search player was going to feature my ex teammate VWS uh, so I don't know if he still wants to do it I haven't really talked to him in a while so yeah, he's a, uh, a good search player that I know but we have uh, the reason I wanted to do him is because we play from two different scenarios when it comes to a clutch situation he's more of an uh, campy lay down wait for my opponent to come to you I'm more of an aggressive clutch player where as if I know where you're at and I'm I'm gonna come. You know, I'm gonna come kill you, not let you come kill me. No, I stick this guy. That was a lucky. That was a lucky stick. As a kid, he's part of raging. Uh, I think we actually won this DB. Yeah, on uh, we were actually we were a real good team right before we just been. Like we were real good. We were competing with some of the best teams. This kid eats bullets. Yeah, I remember that. He ace bullets, hip fire. I'm wondering for three. The whole game was a whole by host, so it's not much like in Black Ops. Where at least there is some type of skill. Everything is based upon host. So we're at three one. Now usually in the three one scenario, you get you should get a little relax. Most likely, and because you have a three nothing lead, but you don't want to get put off your heels. The team can always come back as just as well as they. If, if just as well as you got up. So our mouth's a little dry. I'm kind of thirsty. But we actually let them come back 3-3, three, three, which is a bad part of us. We'll start playing stupid. That we'll start getting out of character and such and such. Oh, yeah, another thing I meant to mention, playing defense, you kind of never want to go to the same spot twice, depending on the map and depending on the team. Like, some teams you play or an aggressive, aggressive team where they just rush every single round, but where they rush you defense, where they rush you offense. And this, the, the team we're playing is the actual smart team, so they're not playing us retarded. They're actually, like, playing slow and pushing as a team, where most teams just run around like they don't have no sense. Uh, in this round, we lost two members too quick. I don't know why everybody was B. Where we know that you should split two bombs each, but not too close, and they both got taken out. Now I'm down to one v four. I did not get this. I'm left in the best situation. I kill him. I uh, uh, usually I would think that there would be one coming around, like coming around our spawn to flank. I was wrong. I don't know what I shot at. I guess I was just trying to get a lucky pre fire. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do right here. I'm trapped and 1v3. That they have bomb plant. Now, usually, if I could do this round over again, I wouldn't go this way. Because I knew one would be at the bathtub. I'm pretty sure one would be by step up and the other laying down somewhere. That would most likely. That was a bad shot. See, this is why I wish I could have did this round over again. I played this a little more bad, and I know I could have did better. Now, this guy, I didn't expect him to still be in the tub after I disappeared and, and could have came around. But then again, it was a 1v3, and he had teammates all over, except for he had a teammate right next to him for some reason right now. I, I don't understand that part. Now, I could have took both of those out, and then that would have that been a fail for them. Yeah, but uh, in this uh, series, I'll be having all types of clips where I'll maybe do some singles and just talk through it and do a live commentary just to see how my predictions are and if I'm right. Uh, and just to just to get the audience to know how how you should think as a search player, though you should always try to hide behind cover and search as well, because it's a one death scenario. After you die, you do not come back to the next round. So you want to play it a little bit smart. Do you do not want to play it how you play capture the flag where you just run out and try to get a kill and push up? Do you want to play together as a team? Play smart, play careful, and hide behind cover. And that's the best way to play the team. And we are all down, and now it's supposed to last a laugh. Like I was saying before, he's the second best clutcher I've known in the search and destroy category. Uh, as a him, he likes to take a more slower push to things. As you see, now he's going all the way in the back of our spawn. Me, on the other hand, I would have been pushing up to some type of building or where I know my teammates that at to try at least take one out to build a better confidence for myself. Now, he right here, I don't know what in the world he should do. I will have to be in a, in a situation to know where everybody was located at because there's really nothing he could do. It's a 1v4 and he's trapped on this type of map. Now, Assault, I've seen him clutch 1v4s. And he clutched on grid before from Black Ops. And Black Ops was so much easier to clutch at because the maps were more, like, more better for search and destroy instead of these maps which are uh, confusing. I'm not a big fan of Modern for 3 actually. I'm like Black Ops. I wish they would put Black Ops on the circuit this year so I could return and play. But hey, you never know.
Now on Black Ops, I could clutch, I clutch multiple one v fours, one v threes on Havana, firing range, all that. I was, a, I was a good search player. I'm still I'm a good search player in this game. I just don't like this game as much as I do Black Ops. It's stupid. Now this, now this series is tied up three v three. I mean three three. Sorry. Now we are trying to make an A push. You see, like this is how you should want to set up, and like in some type of shape where all four members are not too close, but we're close enough where we can watch each other's back. Uh, Pro Nate pulls out the Type 95. I guess when you're in doubt, you pull out the Type. This is one of the overpowered guns in the game. Uh, no, we have a man up right now. I'm going to check the spawn because I know one has to be by the bookstore. I get lucky, take him out. Uh, now this should be automatic win one v four. We should not let this man clutch against us. However, no, like no if ands or what. I uh, uh, he's I know he's right here, so I should throw stun nay. Get him. I get a lucky kill. What do you know? We maintain the win against a good team. I'll post everybody's names in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I will be posting videos every other day or at least twice this week for your information. Follow me on Twitter at VWSBeast, by the way. Thanks, YouTube. This is Optimus Beast here, and I'm out.